me. A group of local parents heartbroken and angry tonight. Tens of thousands of dollars set aside to help Richmond school children with special needs gone. But it wasn't stolen or misplaced. It was given back because school leaders never put it to use. Tonight, our Jussie Rarick investigates why that money was never spent and where it is now. There you go. Judah Wilkes looks like your average six-year-old. Enjoying a warm spring day in Richmond at the skate park. High five. But Judah and his family have more to worry about than just perfecting his skateboarding skills. Judah has autism and a hearing impairment. He definitely has a lot of outside challenges that are going on in you know, his everyday learning process. The kindergartner at Southampton Elementary School in Richmond received special education supports. They're definitely understaffed. Um, just through seeing the special education teacher at the school, that's why I wanted to keep her, keep him in a regular mainstream class. Which is why Judah's mother, Alexandria Wilk, says she was shocked to learn that Richmond Public Schools did not use all of the federal funds they were recently given to help special education students, especially when she's been pushing for her son to have his own aid. It's heartbreaking. Um, I feel as if, as a human being, if you can help someone that is in need, you know, it's our duty to do it. The feds gave RPS $6.2 million to spend on special education. But according to documents obtained by CBS 6, nearly 80,000 went unspent. That is really mind boggling. How could we possibly not have used these resources when everything going on in my world is screaming, we need more, we need more, we need more, and we're returning money. Rarely do we ever not need the money. Richmond School Board member Kim Gray says that money could have helped a department that's been hit hard over the past few years. Since 2009, we've cut drastically positions, so there are capacity issues there. We've lost some of our senior staff. Of that money, $15,000 was available for a parent resource center, and more than 20000 could have been used at the preschool level. But these documents show that Richmond was the only local school system that did not use their entire preschool grant money. Superintendent Dr. Dana Bedden and the Executive Director of Exceptional Education and Student Services, Dr. Michelle Boyd, declined to speak with us on camera. However, a spokeswoman did point out that nearly 99% of the $6.2 million were spent. Maybe when you look at things from an outer perspective, our overall perspective, it looks like it's not that much. A lot of money that ended up going to schools outside of Richmond. A spokesman for the Virginia Department of Education says that under federal law, anything a school district does not use gets distributed elsewhere. These children have so many things coming against them that are out of their control. They didn't ask to be here. And I believe it's our responsibility to help them. And Kim Gray tells me she's spoken with Dr. Bedden asking to audit the special education department. Now, Henrico and Chesterfield also returned money. However, it wasn't as much as Richmond. A spokesman for Henrico says some funds went unspent because budgeted items came in below the quoted pricing. A Chesterfield spokesman says money not spent in that department was within a very narrow time frame with specific restrictions. For CBS 6 News, I'm Chelsea Warrick. Now from CBS.